Uncle Henry and I have to run into town, Dorothy. Yes, Auntie Anne. Well, you behave yourself or we're gone, Toto. I do wonder if I look all right. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful, Auntie Anne. Why, thank you, dear. It's nice of you to say so. And Toto thinks you look beautiful, too. Why, thank you, Toto. That's very sweet of you. Get up! Get up there! Whoa! Whoa there, boy! Why, aren't you the prettiest thing? You look real fine, Emily! <laughs> oh, Henry, you're just the biggest flatterer I know. <laughs> we'll be back just as soon as we can, Dorothy. Well, have a nice time, you two. And help yourself to some pie. And Toto, too? Hmm? Sure thing, honey. Get up! We'll be back before dark. Bye! You know, Henry, hmm? we're real lucky to have a sweet girl like Dorothy. Oh, yes, we are quite lucky, my dear. I don't see how we get along in a place like this without Dorothy. She's a help. And Toto, <laughs> he has his way with the chickens. Get up there! Toto? Toto? Come on, let's have some pie. Delicious. Oh, Toto, doesn't Annie Ann bake the best pies? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You know, I miss Annie Ann and Uncle Henry already. I'm glad you're here to keep me company, Toto. I do like pie. <laughs> Toto, this is Annie M and Uncle Henry's most favorite place in the whole world. Uncle Henry says someday he's going to turn that barren field into a farm. All right, go and play, Toto. Oh, gee, now what can I do that would really be fun? Um, uh, there really isn't much to do besides barn chores. Ooh, it's starting to get windy. Toto! Toto! Let's get in the house! I think we better turn back. Turn back? Look at that cloud over there! <laughs> oh, Henry, it's a storm! Worse than that! Worse as can be! A tornado! Ah! <laughs>
going to open the door to the storm cellar. is that? killed the Wicked Witch of the East. Me? I've never killed anybody. Well, then, in that case, your house must have killed him, my dear. My house? Oh, but I don't think I understand that, ma'am. Oh, it's very simple, my dear. Your house must have fallen on top of her, as you can see. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious me! What have I done? You have done a very good thing. That was the Wicked Witch of the East, and she was very bad. Witch of the what? The Wicked Witch of the East, my dear. Huh? Don't you know where you are? Mm -mm. Come, I'll show you. This is the land of Oz, and it has four witches. Oh. In the east, west, north, and south. Four witches, ma'am? Well, three now, since you and your house came here and helped us to get rid of one. The people of this land, the Munchkins, are grateful to you, dear. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much, young lady. Oh, no, but, but I didn't do anything. I am the Witch of the North. I say you did. You are a witch? Oh, don't worry. You see, the witches of the North and South are good. The Witch of the West is the only evil witch now, thanks to you. Hmm. My goodness. You know, I didn't know there was such a thing as a good witch. Just remember, the witches of the North and South are good. The witch of the West is wicked and evil. I think I'd better remember that, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Toto, what are you barking at? Ooh. What happened to her? Because she was so wicked, so evil, the sun just melted her. Here, my dear, you should wear these at all times. 
I'm told they have magical powers. I do believe you really are a witch, aren't you? Didn't you believe me when I told you so? No, not really. Oh. No, but now that I know you are a witch, could you use your magical powers to get me back to Kansas, please? Well, I don't know. Where's Kansas? It's in the United States of America, and my Annie Em and Uncle Henry live there, and I miss them. And you know, I think they're going to be worried about me, because I've never been away from home before. Oh. Well, that poses a problem. You see, Oz is surrounded by a great desert, and nobody can get out of Oz. Nobody ever tried to. Oh, please, can you help me get back to Kansas? Uh, uh, uh. Wait a minute. I have a very wonderful idea. You can live here. Oh, please say yes. We'd really love to have a friend like you. No, I can't. I've got to get back home to Kansas. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in that case, let me see what I can do. Magic hat spin fast, not slow. Tell me what I want to know. It says, send Dorothy to the city of emeralds. Is your name Dorothy? Yes. Then you must go to the Emerald City. Emerald City? Uh-huh. There, the great Wizard of Oz will help you get back to Kansas, Dorothy. Great. But how do I get there? You can't get lost. Just follow the yellow brick road as far as it goes. Won't you come with me to the Emerald City, please? No, I can't. But let me give you a kiss. Now, now you shall be protected from trouble. Thank you very much. Remember, you can overcome any difficulty with wisdom, love, and courage. Good luck, Dorothy. comfortable and they fit just perfectly it's a very long walk to the Emerald City and I think my old shoes would have worn out by now Toto Toto what are you doing come back here this minute Toto come back here Toto Toto come back here where are you Toto Good day, miss. Huh? Uh? Was that you who spoke? Certainly. How do you do? Very well, thanks. Kind of a lovely day to be taking a walk. All I ever get to do is stay around here and scare crows, which is not a lot of fun. Well, can't you get down from up there, sir? No, I'm, I'm stuck up here on the stick. Do you think you could help me? Well, I'll try to. Are you all right? Well, 
I don't think I know yet. Maybe a little exercise will help. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, two, whoop, two, whoop, two, whoop, two, whoop, two, whoop, two, whoop, two, whoop. Mind if a clumsy scarecrow joins you? <laughs> so you're going to see the wizard. I'll go with you to the Emerald City. I certainly could use the walk. Oh, oh. oh. are you all right? Well, I think that I'm all right. Oh, oh, oh. You've got to watch where you're walking. This is the third time you've fallen. That's because I have an empty head with absolutely no brains. Maybe the Great Oz can give me brains when we get to Emerald City. Well, I'll be happy to ask him to do that for you. It would be wonderful to have a head stuffed full of brains. Why don't you let me carry that little basket for you? Because the one thing I never get is tired. Okay, but be careful not to fall down. I'll be careful. What's in the basket, Dorothy? Bread and pie. There you are, Toto. Here, you'll just love my Annam's pie. Thanks, but no, I never get hungry. You mean you never eat? Nope. My mouth is just painted on, you see, so there's no way I could eat. And since I'm made of straw, I don't have to. Well then, I'll eat this for you. That's just fine. Why do you want to have a brain, Mr. Scarecrow? Why do I want to have a brain? <sighs> well, you see, when I was first put up, I used to scare all of the crows away. As a matter of fact, believe me, I was very proud of myself indeed. But then one day, this old crow came around and he flew in a circle. And then he landed on me and, and he started eating my straw. Well, it didn't take him long to figure out I was only a scarecrow. Then he and all the other crows flew into my cornfield and started eating my corn. Then the old crow perched on my hat and told me how awful it was to have no brains. So from that moment on, I began to think that I must have a brain. And that's why I want to go with you to Oz. Toto, he's as tired as I am. Speaking for myself, I don't feel tired at all. Well, speaking for myself, I've got to go to sleep. Well, then I'll find you a nice place to sleep. Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm just fine. Leave it to me. Aren't you going to sleep? Oh, don't worry about me. I never ever get tired and I never ever sleep. Well then, good night. I dream of home, my home sweet home. Why did I roam so far away from home?
Uncle Henry, Annie Ann wants to know if you'd like to come into the house now. No, child, I think I'll sit here just a little bit longer. Well, isn't it a pretty night? My, my, I don't remember when I saw the sky looking as lovely and so full of stars. Isn't it the prettiest sight? A shooting star? That'll bring you good luck, dear. I have all the luck I'll ever need being here with you and Uncle Henry. I dream of home. Auntie M. Uncle Henry. My home, sweet home. Why did I roam so far away from home? Mmm. Mmm, that feels wonderful. Aren't you going to wash your face? No, I don't think so. Oh, my goodness. What's that? I don't know. Ah, 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 ah. Toto, come back here. Toto! <coughs> it's coming from over there. Excuse me, sir, but did you groan? I think he's run out of oil. Wait, I'll be right back. Ah. Is that any better? A little more, maybe. Thanks. That's the first time I've been able to speak in a year. Could you oil me all over, please, miss? Why, of course I can. How does that feel? I still can't move my head. Here, let me. Oh, please, be careful. There, that does it. Thank you. I think I can move it by myself now. That feels absolutely terrific. Thank you both very much. Oh, you're very welcome indeed. to chop wood a year ago, got caught in the rain and rusted. If you hadn't come along, I might have been there forever. You see, my joints rust very quickly, so I need a lot of oil. There are only two things I need, lots of oil and a heart. We're going to see the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to ask him for a brain. Maybe he'll give you a heart. That would be wonderful, because if I had a heart, I would be able to love somebody. Gosh, haven't you ever loved anybody, Mr. Tin Man? Well... Since I don't have a heart, I don't know if I ever have loved anybody. I'm sure the wizard will grant you a heart. I certainly hope so. That would make me so happy. Oh, oh. oh here. Let me help you. Thank you very much. Indeed. You should be more careful. You could hurt yourself. No, I don't seem to get hurt. Are you sure that you can't love anybody? Mm-hmm. Well, I just don't think that is so. Neither do I. But I don't have a heart, so how can I feel love? like a lion. A lion? Oh, my goodness! I think it would be a good idea if we stayed out of that lion's way. Good thinking. You 
still want to fight? No, I give up. A big creature like you trying to bite a little dog. Oh, I wasn't going to bite. Don't you deny it. I saw you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, when you put it that way, I really am ashamed of myself. And you knocked down the scarecrow, too. Scarecrow? Ah, so that's why it was such a pushover. Oh, oh boy. Oh. What's the big idea? Oh, I didn't mean nothing by it. And why did you attack the Tin Man? Tin Man? So that's how I hurt my poor little claws. What do you call a creature that attacked me? Toto. He's my little pet dog. Oh, pet? Oh, I really am ashamed of myself. I'm such a terrible coward. Why do you think you're a coward, Mr. Lion? I was born a coward. The lion is king. That's what they say. The lion is the king of the beasts. But not in my case. All the other animals in the forest run away and hide the minute they hear me roar. Me, I'm afraid of my own shadow. I'm a coward. I can't believe that you are a coward, Mr. Lion. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so terribly ashamed of myself. Maybe it's because you have no heart, Mr. Lion. Oh, I have a heart because I can feel it pounding whenever I get frightened. Mm, well, hmm, hmm. Maybe the Great Oz can help. How can Oz help me? I'm going to see the Great Oz. I'm going to ask him to give me a brain. And I'm going to ask that he help me get home. Well, maybe I can come along and ask him to give me some courage. Why'd you stop? Is there something wrong with you? I think I've just stepped on something. Well, lift up your foot. I think you've stepped on an insect. Oh, that's terrible. I didn't see it, the poor little thing. Oh, I'm not really sure that is an insect. There are a lot of things you find on the road, you know. The Tin Man's very sensitive. Oh. No, it's just that I don't have a heart, so I can't feel love and tenderness or any kind of emotion, and therefore I have to be extra careful about what I do. I feel this terrible What's the matter? Are you all right? What's wrong with him? I think I know. His tears must have run into the hinges of his mouth and caused them to rush shut. Well then, you need some oil. get across this place. It's very simple. All we have to do is back up a little bit right over there, get a running start, and then jump across. No, I don't think we can jump that. Remember, Dorothy, you can overcome any difficulty with wisdom, love, and courage. I'm sure that we can do it if we try. Hmm. We can leap across. I don't think my legs could do a thing like that. 
Well, it wouldn't be very hard for me to take you across. That's it. I think you should take me first, because if I fell, I wouldn't even get hurt. Well then, let's go. Come on, let's go. Be careful. Here we go. Dorothy, dear. Now, please be careful with her. Leave it to me. And he thinks that he doesn't have any courage. This part of the forest looks frightening. It's even worse than that. The terrible collie dogs live here, you know. Does? They're monsters with heads like tigers and bodies like bears and long, sharp nails. And they're mean. Very, very mean. Oh, no. Oh, no. Toto, you better stay close by. There are monsters in this forest. Come on. Well, I certainly hope we don't run into any Kalidas. <laughs> something to help him. But I don't know anything we can do to help Scarecrow. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've got it!
how much further it is to the Emerald City. Oh, I certainly do hope we're close by. I just don't know how much longer I can keep on walking like this. But we've got to keep going, no matter how long it takes. How else are we going to see the wizard? Toto, come back here! You know I don't run very well. Neither. You'll give me a brain! And me a heart! And I'm gonna get courage! I am in charge of this gate. Now would you please tell me what all of you are doing here? We've all come to see the Wizard of Oz. You what? I don't remember anyone having the nerve to ask such an outrageous question. But we have very important things to ask of the wizard. It better be important, or else you will be dealt with on the spot. Oh, great. What luck. They're important. He's a very good ruler. But I must warn you, he has a terrible temper and very little patience. Why, in all my days, I don't remember anyone who has ever seen him. But we have very, very important things to ask of the wizard. Hmm? Hmm. 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 <clears throat> uh, I will tell him that you would like to see him. And I will inform the wizard. Certainly. Would you please tell me what room of the palace the wizard is in? Top of the stairs. Do you ever get to see the wizard yourself? I certainly do not. I just get to speak to him from the other side of the screen. What are we going to do if the wizard refuses to see us? Then I'm going to force my way into his robe, no. you'll see. A thing like that would get us into very serious trouble. I think we should wait and see what happens. If the great wizard refuses to see us, then we should do something. Don't you agree, Dorothy? Uh-huh. Well, 
I, for one, don't think that's a very intelligent plan at all. As a matter of fact, I think you lack brains. Well, of course I lack brains. That is why I've come to see the great Oz. Hello, I've come to tell you that the great wizard has consented to see you. Hooray! But he will only allow you to see him one at a time. Hmm. Well, would you mind if I went first, please? Go ahead, Dorothy. Oh, okay. You've seen the wizard lots and lots of times, haven't you? Why, no. As a matter of fact, I've only heard him speaking. All right, young lady. You will now enter the wizard's chamber all by yourself. Oz the great and powerful. I want to know who you are and what you want of me. Uh, I am Dorothy, the small and meek. You are indeed a very brave little girl. What I want to know from you is exactly how you came into possession of those slippers you are wearing. Slippers? They were given to me after my house accidentally landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. And now tell me exactly what it is you want me to do for you. I want to go home to my Annie M and Uncle Henry in Kansas. Would you help me, please? What is this Kansas? Kansas is a state in the United States. Oh, you mean that Kansas? Oh, you really are a wizard. Why, the Good Witch of the North didn't even know where the state of Kansas was. Are you going to grant my wish to go home? Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate that very much. Toto and I miss Annie M and Uncle Henry more than anything. But first, there is something you must do before I will help you. <gasps> what do you want me to do? Get rid of the Wicked Witch of the West, then I will grant you your wish. Oh, but I wouldn't know how to do a thing like that. You got rid of the Wicked Witch of the East. Now there is but one evil witch left in Oz, the Witch of the West. After you get rid of her, I will grant your wish, but not one minute sooner. You must destroy the Wicked Witch of the West, understand? No, I don't. How am I going to destroy the Wicked Witch of the West? In exactly the same way in which you got rid of the Wicked Witch of the East. But that was an accident. Can I please go home? Not till you destroy the Witch of the West. Oh. Oh. Well, tell us how it went, Dorothy. because it makes me want to cry, too, and if I cry, I'll rust all over. Here, Sid. Please remember that we're your friends. Tell us what happened. I want to know there isn't anything in the world we wouldn't do for you, Dorothy, dear. I, I hear that the Great Wizard of Oz is a gigantic head. I wouldn't know. I've never seen him. The great and powerful, I want you to tell me who you are. 
Then I want you to tell me what it is you want the Great Oz to do for you. Yeah, I I'm very pleased to meet you. I am a scarecrow, and I'm made completely of straw. I have absolutely no brains in my head, and I was thinking it would be absolutely wonderful if you would give me a brain. I will give you a brain when you come back here after you have destroyed the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll get a brain after I destroy the Wicked Witch of the West. Same as me. I was so surprised to see that the Great Oz is a very young, beautiful winged lady. A lady? I am Oz, the great and powerful. I know exactly what it is you want me to do for you. Go destroy the Wicked Witch of the West! Are you sure that you are really the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> We've all decided there's nothing for us to do but go and destroy the Wicked Witch of the West. Uh-huh. Well, I'll go, too. The wizard said he wouldn't give me any courage unless I destroy the Wicked Witch of the West. The wizard was a beautiful young winged lady, right? No, he was a great ball of fire. A great ball of fire? I wonder if they really will be able to do what I ask. The Wicked Witch of the West is the meanest, most dangerous witch in Oz. No one has ever seen her and lived to tell the tale. I don't see any castle. I don't see one either. I think the castle of the Witch of the West must be near because I can smell wolves in the air and lots of strange things. <gasps> lots, lots of strange things? things? Mm -hmm. But so far, I can't identify what the other strange things are. I've never smelled anything like it before. Maybe it's the smell of a witch. who have intruded on my land. They have come here to do me harm. You must find them. You must destroy them. What's that cloud of dust? Cloud of dust? I can smell them clearly. Wolves, you say? Leave them to me. Why, they're not real wolves, they're magic! I'm very glad he decided to come with us. next. So you think you can destroy my wolves and get away with it? Well, I'll teach you! in my land who want to do me harm. I want you to destroy them. Ah! Now 
the witch has sent crows to attack us. Crows can't be axed. Lead them to me. You all take shelter. I'll stop them. Frightened for the poor scarecrow. Uh -huh. How can he ever fight a crow that size? Now what are we gonna do? It'll be just fine. All I need is the oil can. But I'm the one that needs the oil. Hmm. The oil can is right here. Hmm. What's that for? takes care of the crow, but we haven't seen the end of the witch's magic. So far they've been lucky, but all things come to an end. Tell us what it is you want to have done. There are strangers here. I want them destroyed. Then they are as good as destroyed! Wait, that would be too easy. Ah, bring them back here. Bring them to the castle. Be gone now. I wonder what that strange sound is. <gasps> Flying monkeys! Leave them to me! sister's slippers. Remember, dear, the Witch of the North cannot protect you from me. I'm not afraid of you. Ah! I'll untie you. Don't worry about us. Run and save yourself. No, I must. Run, Dorothy. Run. I'll fix her and that nasty little dog. Guards, don't let her escape. You can't hide from me. <laughs> hmm. 
Ah, <laughs> so there you are. Thanks, little friend. Quick, come and tie us so we can all go and help Dorothy. He's all right. Gosh, Dorothy, how did you save yourself from the wicked witch? There was a big jug of water up there, and I threw it at her. Oh. Look, oh. she's alive. Oh. I'm melting! I'm melting! I can't believe what I'm seeing. She's melting right before our eyes. I never would have thought that water would destroy the wicked witch. I was the most powerful witch of all, and I have been destroyed by a little girl. Dorothy, you should never have thrown that water on me. I'm melting! Yay! We've destroyed the Wicked Witch of the West. Now the wizard will grant our wishes. Now I'm finally going to have a brain. And I'm going to have a heart. And I will have courage. Here we go. Because you know, it's the wizard of a day. Feast your eyes on those skies. It's the wizard of a day. Every heart is singing, yes, and every spirit's free. Every bird is singing. 
appear as a great head. A beautiful lady. A ferocious monster. A ball of fire. One thing's for sure, he's late showing up. I am the great wizard of Oz. What do you want from me? Why can't we see you, oh great wizard of Oz? I am invisible to mortals. I am going to seat myself on the throne. Tell me what you want of me. I want to go back to Kansas as you promised. I already destroyed the Wicked Witch just like you asked me to do. That's right. Do you really expect me to believe that the Wicked Witch of the West was destroyed by a little girl like you? I melted her with a jug of water. The Wicked Witch dissolved in ordinary water? She certainly did. Now when do I go to Kansas? And I want to know when I get my brain. And when do I get my heart? When do I get my courage? Come back tomorrow. But you promised. That's not fair. Tono, come back here. You. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Don't strike me. Please hold your axe. Please do. You are the Wizard of Oz? Huh? Yes. I really am the Wizard of Oz. Honestly, I am. I thought you were a great big head. I thought you were a beautiful lady. No, I'm just an old man. I thought you were a ferocious beast. And I thought you were fire, a great ball of fire. Oh, yes, I made it appear that I was, but I, uh, I deceived you. Uh, come, let me show you. This great head was suspended by a very thin wire. Then I stood behind the screen and spoke. Well, he's a fake. That's a terrible thing to do. You should be ashamed. We risked our lives for you. Now, that's not fair. And I can't grant you wishes either. But I, I really didn't mean you any harm. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm just an old man from Omaha. Isn't Omaha very close to Kansas? Yes. How did you get here? Watch. Twist and turn, twist and turn, and then... Snap! You see, I used to fly a balloon for a small traveling circus. Then one day, the rope snapped and my balloon started drifting. I don't know how long, but when it finally landed, here I was in Oz. You're nothing but a fake, and you're also an imposter. I also happen to be a pretty fair magician. When the people saw me come down from the sky and perform feats of magic, they believed I was a great wizard and made me their king. I asked you to destroy the witch for the sake of the people. As for my tricks, they were harmless illusions which I will now demonstrate. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Please give me the courage you promised to give me. You already have courage. What you lack is self-confidence. Everyone gets frightened now and then, but the word courage means braving danger. You have already proven that you can do that, understand? Yes, I do. Please give me the brain that you promised me, Great Oz. <laughs> you learn something new every day. A baby has brains, but he doesn't know much. Experience is the only thing that brings knowledge, and you've got that from just living. The longer you are on Earth, the more experience you are sure to get. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, I do, most certainly. <clears throat> what about the heart that you promised to give me? I think you are wrong to want a heart. It makes most people unhappy. It's caring and kindness that count, and you have an abundance of those. I do hope you understand. Hmm. Why, I do understand, and I want to thank you. And now, what about your promise to get me home to Kansas? Now, that's a very difficult question, Dorothy, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I just don't have an answer to it. Hmm. Didn't you tell us that you drifted here to Oz in a balloon? Yes. Well, do you still remember where the balloon is? Hmm. 
I, uh, I, I think it's somewhere in this old chest in the PC now. No, not that. No, not that. Not that. Oops. No, no, let's see now. Oh, Eureka! <laughs> Beloved people, I am leaving you on this day, but you must not be sad. While I am away, the wise scarecrow shall rule in my place. I guess this is goodbye, Dorothy. I Virgil guess I'm lucky to be getting home to Kansas, but I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. I wouldn't have courage today if it weren't for you, Dorothy. If not for you, I would probably still be rusted in the forest. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm going to. <laughs> Please don't cry. You'll get all rusty I again. Miss you. <laughs> the wind's blowing in the right direction. Are you ready to go home, Dorothy? Yes, sir. Come on, Tony. Dorothy, <laughs> get in the balloon. <laughs> She wants to be with her Auntie Anne and Uncle Henry. Well, since that's the case, there's nothing left for us to do but to figure out a way to get Dorothy back home to Kansas. No need to worry. There's no need to be sad, Dorothy, because I will get you to Kansas. You will? Mm-hmm. Yes, I found your little dog in the castle. Oh, Toto, Toto! <laughs> How did you know my name? I'm a witch. You must be a good witch because you're beautiful. I am Glinda, the good witch of the South. Did you melt the wicked witch of the West? Yes, but she was a very bad witch. Mm-hmm. My sister, the good witch of the North, told me that the thing you want most in the world is to be able to go home to Kansas. That is what I want most in the world. But I missed my chance because the balloon left without me. If you wish to go home to Kansas, all you have to do is click the heels of the magical slippers together three times, and you will be in Kansas with your Auntie M and Uncle Henry, my dear. Oh. Gee whiz. You're lucky, Dorothy. Uh-huh, but I'm going to miss you all very much. We'll miss you, too. Remember us when you're back home in Kansas. I'll never forget you. Thank you for saving me so many times when I was in trouble. You're the most courageous lion in the world. I know that you will be the best king the people of Oz ever had because of your great wisdom. Please be careful about going out in the rain, and will you always promise to keep your oil can with you? Glinda, good witch of the South, Please look after my friends for me. One, two, three. Magic slippers, please take me home to Kansas. Take me to Kansas. Take me to Kansas. Take me. Take me. Take me. Emily! 
Come over here, dear. Oh, land of potion, Henry. I'm very busy. Look there, isn't that the most beautiful rainbow you've ever seen? Well, you're absolutely right, dear. It's just gorgeous. I hope Dorothy sees it, too. Oh, I'm afraid we've lost our Dorothy. I'll never give up hoping she'll come back. Oh, Henry, I can hardly believe my ears, but I think I hear Toto. That's plain nonsense. Henry, I just couldn't be mistaken about that bark. Who? Henry, look, it is Toto! <laughs> So worried. In the land of Oz. Doesn't sound like that's in Kansas. I've never heard of it either, Dorothy. Where is this place? It's just beyond the rainbow. Yeah. 